and uh, getting this uh, great representation in the Capitol. Capitol Hill is getting a slight makeover in 2021. A record number of women are expected to serve in the U.S. Congress. About 130 women will join the U.S. House and Senate, improving on record strides made with the last U.S. Congress. Tonight, 25 News reporter Paige Ellenberger is joining us to break down that progress. Paige. She believed she could, so she did, is quickly becoming the mantra of 2021, it seems, as 129 women, more than ever before, look to hold seats in Congress. If you split our country down the middle, we would see a near-perfect balance of genders. And as the president of the League of Women's Voters in Texas points out, our federal government should mirror that. Government is better when more people participate in our democracy and when our democracy looks like the people who are here uh, that they're representing. Though a hundred years ago, it was a different story. And it took a long time to get there. There were thousands and thousands of women all over the country fighting in their different states to get the 19th Amendment passed. Experts say the challenges women faced in the 1900s didn't necessarily go away. In fact, some argue they've just taken on different forms. Women have to behave as if they were Margaret Thatcher, uh, that they have to be iron ladies to succeed in politics and prove that they're even tougher or more hawkish than most men. Dixon says the scarce number of females in politics is partially due to the historical lack of representation, which in turn leads young girls to believe the goal may be unattainable. But when they do assume office... We have a reason to believe that the women who get nominated are on the whole more qualified than the men who get nominated, that they have to go above and beyond what a man will have to do to get the same nomination. Having someone who looks like you in a position of power is important because... They know that they can do this, that there is nothing that should be getting in their way to try to make this government the best government that it can be. 2021 breaks a previous record set back in 2019, which had 127 women in Congress. And Colleen, Paige Ellenberger, 25 News. Paige, thank you. The number of women who will serve in the next Congress includes 17 incumbent women senators who are not up for election or re-election rather this time around. Of those, 14 are Democrat and three are Republican. There will be a total of 135 women in Congress this year. Of those, 103 are Democrats and 32 are Republicans. On election day, there were 127 women in Congress with 105 Democrats and 22 Republicans.